Hi, let's talk about settings in Visual Studio and learn a little bit about the different aspects of them. So settings are stored up under the tools top level menu under options and there's quite a few of them as you can see here. Um, the number of settings and the different types of settings that you've got depends on the different workloads and components uh, that you've installed with Visual Studio and that includes uh, extensions. So any extension can also add uh, to the options dialog here. So everyone's tools options looks a little bit different. Um, what we can do is we can search. So let's say I want to learn about a feature uh, that has to do with synchronization of settings. So one thing that Visual Studio will do is if you're signed in to Visual Studio using your Microsoft account, it will synchronize settings by default so that whenever you, you know, get a new laptop, a new computer, you have to set up a home or work environment or something like that, and you sign in with the same account, the settings that you have changed, that you have selected, roam across those different installations of Visual Studio. So that gives you sort of the same setup in on multiple machines, which is really, really nice. Um, there are some that want to turn that off. Uh, there are some, a couple of reasons why you may want to do that. Um, so you can do that under accounts right here, um, this simple checkbox. So as I said, you can search within this dialog, but you can also go to the Visual Studio search and search here, and that will also take you straight into that sub page uh, in this dialog. So um, you don't have to first open the dialog and then search. You can do it very quickly from um, from that other menu. Cool. I said menu. I meant the Visual Studio search up here. So um, that's all cool. Um, there's a lot of settings. There's a lot of things to go explore. So I will suggest you go take a look. A lot of people don't um, actually know what's available in those uh, settings. So it might be very interesting to go just see what's there and see if you can optimize some settings for your workflows and your scenarios. Um, one thing we can do is that we can import and export settings. So uh, even though that we by default synchronize settings across machines, maybe you want to export those settings into a file and share with a team member or store somewhere so you can you can restore that by importing them back into Visual Studio at a later time, maybe after setting up a new machine. Uh, and so this would be primarily a scenario where uh, you don't synchronize settings or that you can't because you're dealing with different accounts. So we can export, import the settings. It's very simple. It's, it writes to a file or it reads from a file. And also here inside this dialog, we can reset all settings. So um, this might not be that obvious from the name that just said import export settings, but this is the same dialog where we would reset all the settings to like a factory default. So you can say, do you want to save those settings? So, nope, just reset the settings, which override any changes I've made to the settings, restoring everything back to sort of the factory default. Um, so and you know, and then that will be your new synchronization settings. So if you roll everything back to the factory default, after the synchronization then happens, all your machines, uh, all your installations on the same account uh, will go back to the default settings. And uh, from here you can do your, then your changes that you want. So it's a really good place if you get stuck, if uh, you've added some settings and you don't remember how to change them back, um, then go in here, reset all settings, and you're good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Um, just a little overview of just some of the aspects of settings in Visual Studio. Thank you.